All right. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Kelly and Victoria today. And I'm gonna be showing you some of the stuff I got um, from my grandma. I got the package yesterday. I didn't open it till today. Um, yeah, I've showed off some of my other um, stuff before I've gotten from grandma, but that stuff today. So for new people, her grandmother passed away, also my grandmother, but my stepfather's mother. And her aunt, Cheryl, who lived with the mother, her grandmother at the end has kept obviously all her stuff mm -hmm. so every now and then she sends a package mm -hmm. to kelly so kelly got a package with a bunch of the stuff and i thought a lot of the stuff was super super cool and meaningful so we figured we would yeah. share some of it with you and i'll be getting another box like december so i'll be sharing that too with you guys um this was a full album i can show off the photos but it's like but i do want to show off one photo yeah, look at kelly when she was cute right guys mm -hmm. and then this is what we have now and these are three things for it. See, this is a spoon. My grandma used to have like these shelves of a bunch of spoons from like what was it, different states? Right? Yeah, states, cities, stuff. countries. And this is a spoon. It's just a regular spoon. Well, not pewter. Regular spoon, but right. pewter, yeah. Pewter, that's, that's what she collected. Oh. Pewter. And we got some holy water. Yes, that's which like is a, super cool. I think okay. that's Mother Mary on it. I'm not really sure. Cool. But yeah. And this rose. I have another rose from grandma up there too on my shelf too. So. Yeah, it's like it's like plastic. Pretty, very pretty. And then we have these like putting gloves room. The clown bells. This one has the bell thing in it. This one don't. Um, what was the clown's name, boy? Ellis Elliot. Elliot Kelly. Elliot Kelly. Elliot yeah, Kelly. he's some, some yeah. clown from like the fifties or sixties. I guess 60s. my grandma really liked them. So I use the clown bells. So do a close up. Clowns are freaky. Yep, I do not like. So them. yeah, she put them on my nightstand. Thanks, Kel. Yeah. These, I believe, there's two of them. Placemats. Placemats. This is cute. No. Meaningful. And if, I don't know if you guys know what these are, but if you put them up to the light and you look in there and it's a picture. Oh my god, they're pictures when her grandmother was yeah. probably like 20 in like halter tops and freaking jumpsuits. Super cute. Super cute. This is just a book from her late husband, Tony. Her second husband, right? Yeah, second husband. Mm -hmm. It's just the bookmark has some like religious stuff on there. You know, to get dive too much into religion, but you know. She was very much into religion. Yeah. Pewter coins, right? Yeah. Um, so, so, one type of silver coins? No, I don't think so. A dollar, a dollar. Why doesn't it say dollar? One dollar? Maui trade. These are dollars in a, a Hawaii mm -hmm. or something. So, if yeah. any of you guys from Hawaii, take them. Yeah. That's um, cool. And we got this. I've, yeah, I've never seen these before. That's super cool. It's an elephant. It has a suction cup. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Oh. I become so numb. I can't breathe. Sorry. This is just a little like collectible box in there. I, I don't really know. Probably a pill box or something back in the day. Yeah, I don't know. And I have a rosary too. It's pink. It's hanging up there. It's from um, my grandma when she was a kid. Also on my pillow right there. I'll show you guys the pillow. That's her pillowcase. I also got like a a, a, a her set of sheets too. Um, so oh, got more little like figurines in here. This almost looks like a thimble, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They look like Monopoly pieces. Remember yeah, that's like I said that. Said. So they were like girl lady, woman. <laughs> so yeah, my grandma's really, what's it called? Pewter. Pewter. I keep forgetting. It's a certain kind of metal. Yeah, I never heard of it before until today. No? Thing. No. It's a little koala. So it's little figurines. This was my uncle that passed away on my birthday last year. My aunt sent me some prayer cards. Some little angel stuff. This is me. From like oh got my picture I day in elementary that. school, you get the pictures. There's just some cards in here too. There were cards that like Kelly made for her <laughs> or yeah, sent to her, which is cool. There's cards. Uh, another like, keychain. It's my grandma's name, Dorothy. It's another like I don't know what you would call this. And the cool thing about it is her her Dorothy's husband built this house, so, right? No. Did, yeah, didn't Marty's dad build this house? I don't think so. Yeah, I was pretty sure he built a driveway or something. Uh, driveway. Yeah, I know they've lived here basically their whole life, yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, since my dad was like a year and a half. Yeah. I thought his father helped build a house. We'll so. have to ask. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. 
This is my grandmother and her friend. That's so cool. That's how I remember her. Um, my grandma used to work at a hospital near here, and just like a male from like the beauty shop thing in there. I don't know much about that, don't ask. Another bookmark. This is like an old uh, address book. Back in Dana, that's like a little notepad. So cool. Yeah, I think I it's so cool to like have this stuff, you know? I don't know the story behind, behind this picture. It looks like someone painted it. I don't know, like maybe my grandmother painted it. No, it says the last name Sadler down there. Probably just a picture she had in the house. Yeah. I don't know if like, it was something meaningful to it. I don't know the story behind this. We don't know. But that's this like toy spot. On this thing I have hanging up in my room. What's that? It says, oh. every morning has a new beginning, a new blessing, a new hope. Let me put this stuff in the box, guys, and then we'll show you the last few things. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And always, we're, we're looking for okay, ideas for, for videos, last. of course. Oh, wait till you see this thing. I think it's so cute. It's like a little apron that you wear on your waist. It's so like cute That's for when she cooks and stuff. I don't know. I love stuff like that, you know? She could have for like generations and then yeah. s give it to her daughter, you know? I don't know. And these are driving gloves. You guys don't know, I guess back then, people wore them when they drove. Yeah, old people. Yeah. Elderly people. <laughs> this was a sweater she wore a lot. I mean, I, I don't really remember it too much, but it has a familiarness to me, you know the what I mean? The smell, yeah, too. Yeah, it smells like her. Uh, like it, I kind of do. Now, I like this box. It says mm -hmm. a picture of my aunt and my grandmother on it. Yeah. Um, that's her aunt who sends her all this stuff. That's who Dorothy was with at the end. This was my grandmother's badge when she worked at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Different bookmarks and stuff. Yeah. She liked to read a lot. Yeah, just bookmarks. Um, these are like uh, things you tie curtains back. Yeah, we don't really know the yeah. significance if there is any, but I'm sure there is since she saved like those, you know. Uh, they're like a tall thing from Missouri. Anyone watching from Missouri, shout out to you. Shout out to Missourians. Look, it's like a cup, like a wine bottle or something. And it's a Christmas tree. Oh, well, that's cool. I like that. I saw that before too. This is a watch that she like wore a lot. I feel like all older elderly people that age have a watch that looks like that. Like my other great grandmother Stella and a couple of the ladies I take care of have watches like that. Oh, guys, did you, what did Dad say about that picture? He couldn't believe it. Uh, so this picture is my aunt, my grandmother, my other aunt, and that's my dad. Back then. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't look like that he anymore. Younger. There's like uh, other few like bookmarks and stuff in there, but you know. Um, and now the guys, but that's the last. So what's everybody doing for the weekend? Leave in the comments what you're doing for the weekend. Share with us. We might go to a food truck festival tomorrow. Now this, what she's about to share with you, is a true story. I'm here to tell you it's true, and it's probably the coolest story. Mm -hmm. Slow down when you tell it so they can hear it, actually. Cool. This is a pillow that was my grandmother. So the story is a woman who my grandmother used to work with. In the hospital. In the hospital. She got murdered by her husband. But she made her the pillow before she got murdered. And my grandma, I forgot if it was the bed she had. The right? bed, yeah. Yeah, the bed. And like every time she would put on the bed, she would come home and it would be on the floor. This was before the the husband got like, caught. caught. Got caught. Like they all knew, all the nurses and yeah. all the girls at the hospital knew that he murdered her, mm -hmm. her but the cops didn't know. So. so, but once they caught the murderer, the husband, the pillow never fell again. But it was weird. She would put it on the bed, she would like come home from work. It would be, it would on be the literally floor. on the floor. Like not like it fell off the bed she would put it in the yeah. middle of the bed and it would go off the bed i don't know it's freaky to I me i believe freaky. it though yeah. and then like they said after the the husband was like charged and caught and everything it never happened again like so, the woman was talking to her so if anything weird happens with this pillow i'll let you guys know right like share that. stories that like that that's ever happened to you guys yeah, i love hearing stuff yeah, like that too. so um but that's it guys let me know what you think I know this may not be the most like exciting video to watch, but it's something meaningful to me. And I want to share with you guys, so you guys mean a lot to me because I love, you know, doing YouTube and stuff. Uh -huh. She so, does. She loves you guys, you know. Let, me, let us know what other videos you want to see because we don't know what to film. That's we'll the film issue. anything, right. Exactly. So we let us know what you want. But we'll definitely see. do some stuff this weekend. Yeah. We're going to uh, 
a, a food truck festival tomorrow, so maybe we could film a little bit while we're there, you know? I don't know. Let us know what you want to see. Okay. Well, I love you guys so much. Follow me on my socials, follow Con and so subscribe to Josh, subscribe to Ridgeman, hashtag AGP, subscribe to always underscore Juggy, subscribe to Dan, subscribe to Jacob. Jesus. Guys, please subscribe to me. Please like and please comment. Glow tell her, anything. tell your people to subscribe to her. All it takes is your people to hit one button for somebody to like really reach their dreams. This is something that she wants to do. You know what I mean? It does. It all takes what what ten seconds to hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. So share it. Have your people. Exactly. You know, have people. Let's lift people up. Let's get people to where they want to be in life. You know. Mm -hmm. That's all. Love you guys. Here, if you guys need us, always. We love you so much, my randomers, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.